said about stem cells. Yeah, the reason why um, I wanted to invite Barb on the show, I wanted the public to know that um, the lab we're using, Signature Athletica Biologics, is uh, as FDA compliant as any lab, it, probably more. I mean, they're doing, uh, the FDA by November 2020 wants all stem cell labs to do um, uh, an IRB, uh, Intervention Review Board, like Barb mentioned, and it started with, uh, after World War II, the Geneva Convention, that we don't want to experiment on humans unethically, so we want a review board to make sure the clinical trials are done safely, ethically, and effectively. And, uh, you know, she actually was at the American Academy of Stem Cell Physicians where I lectured uh, about a month ago, and she heard Billy Davis, the, uh, the Super Bowl champion, speak. So we're all kind of want to work together to make it safe, legitimate and effective all right mm -hmm. so yeah in fact we're putting together a study we're going to start with knee pain right um an irb study all right on knee pain and we'll probably do it on the former nfl alumni athletes who's suffering from degenerative arthritis of the knee and that study you know will be conducted through fda guidelines and then you know hopefully that'll lead to approval and that's why we hire PhD scientists like Barb to run these IRB studies. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. And so, then there's another study we might be involved with uh, working with actually one of the Mayo Clinic family physicians who's, he's on the same floor as me at my clinic in Orange County. So we might do another study in, on another condition um, with him as well. So it's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. So you're always sort of proving what works and what doesn't work like you're always on the on the side of caution and of let's make sure that we're doing the the absolute best we can for somebody who's coming in with pain you gotta understand uh, every doctor takes the hip hippocratic oath which means first do no harm to the patient all right mm -hmm. so you know we don't want to do anything that might you know put the patient at risk. And that's why we want to do our due diligence with making it safe, scientifically proven effective, and it works. So, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, you, you say that, but we all know, we've all heard the stories of doctors that do things that are that are unethical. And, and, and Barb even alluded to it, you want to make sure that your doctor, if you're doing this, your doctor is somebody who is taking this stuff seriously, and then pointed to you and said, and after you was... Well, even the founder of the American Academy of Stem Cell Physicians, Dr. A.J. Farshin, um, remember when Michael Jackson, you know, his pain doctor here in L.A., um, unfortunately, Jackson overdosed on Demerol, and it caused his demise. Well, Dr. Farshin tried to wean Michael Jackson off the drugs, the pain pills, you know, the the injections, the IVs, um, naturally to detox him, but he was too late. So that's our mission. We want to do things that are, um, you know, non-addictive. You know, a lot of these drugs have these adverse side effects. Uh, a lot of these surgeries, um, even, um, you know, the astronaut Armstrong, first man to step on the moon, he died of a surgical complication. Mm -hmm. And like, why wouldn't why wasn't stem cells available for him? You know, he's the the future man on the he went to the moon, so we want these future therapies available now safely, so people don't have to fly overseas. You know, a lot of people can't afford it, and yeah. we want and now we can do it affordably here, you know, under these guidelines. That's you know, exciting. So, it's so yeah. exciting. Mm -hmm. Cool, Ron. Good okay. piece. Good yeah. piece. Yeah. How's your time, Bill? My time's good. Your time for the show? Good. Yeah. Well, we're we're gonna yeah. So um, let's kind of what what parts of this of what she said do you want out? Um. I'd say we leave it all in. Why okay. not? I mean, what what do we have to hide? Right. I and mean, she says it's not approved, but. You know, you could still have it done under the study, right? Right. We're not. We don't want to deceive anyone, and that'll that'll ruin tr trust. Yeah. Yeah. 
But guess what? You know, vitamin C, I think I mentioned this in another show, right? Isn't it in there? Yeah. Well, vitamin C is not approved. So, you know, it, it right. counters that. Yeah. I see leave it all in. How, how many minutes was your segment? Uh, with, with what we just put in, it's 12 minutes, uh, 13 minutes. Man, we'll just put it all in. Why okay. not? Yeah. No what problem. do we have to hide? Yeah. I think it was great. I don't know if you heard her, but. I hear part of it. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. um, the only part that made me nervous um, was when she was, when she started talking about the harm that some of it can do, like the side effects. And I was like, hmm. You could leave that out. It, yeah. Why, it, why yeah. scare the public? Yeah, because wanna, I, the, the, the reality is out of the thousands, tens of thousands of injections, there's been no 